Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Friday Favorites. Um, today we are playing with folders. Yay! I um, have a ton of these folders. These folders are from the dollar store. You get a pack of 10 manila file folders. Just the standard manila folders work fine. And we will be making this planner. It's so quick and easy and cute. Look at that. So cute. And it's just a, like a little um, a little planner where you can do like organize your your uh, shopping list or your coupons. So as you can see here, I have um, like them printed out some shopping lists and some. This one says gift list, or you can do birthday list or whatever. You can change them out for the month, like for the month of January. You put all your stuff. I don't know. This is so handy to have, and um, it's so easy and quick to make. And this idea, um, I got about a year ago. I was in a swap on one of like the Ning, the Ning sites. I don't know which one it was. And she sent it to me with, um, I think a couple of goodies, like a recipe, some, I can't remember and I'm so sorry. But, um, I have been meaning to make one of my own. So I have my little planner here and I'm going to show you guys how to do it on this Friday favorites episode. So the first thing you'll need, oh, by the way, this paper um, that I used, so pretty, was this My Mind's Eye uh, 54 Sheet Glitter Stack. It's home, the home stack. So anyway, that's that. It's such vibrant colors, and I didn't put anything at the top as far as like a name or anything because it's going to be going in and out of my purse. So um, I just did stamp planner, though, on the side just so I can have it handy and pull it out. So, okay. Back to the tutorial. So you'll need your folder. And the first thing you want to do is you, you know how they have um, these little lips, lips on there? So there's two. There's one up here and then there's one right here. We want to cut this lip off, this long lip off so it could be even. So you'll have the hump and then the straight line. Okay? So that's the first little thing that we want um, to do. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to fold it, fold that, because we want to keep this tab, so you can have something to write your name, or whatever the name of your book will be, on. So I am just going to even this out, and cut it off. See, this is all I took off. So now we just have the straight line. Okay, that's it for that. And then now we want to do some scoring. I'm going to use my MS scoreboard. Okay, so on the lip lipless side, so the side we just cut, you want to score it at. Straighten this out some. Pin. All right. Five uh, or four and a quarter. So on the lipless side, but it's straight up against there. And score at four and a quarter. And I try not to press too hard because these are, after all, dollar store envelopes or dollar store folders. And um, so four and a quarter for the first one. And then you want to flip it to the tab side, but that evenly up against there. And you want to score it at five and a quarter. So we should have three score marks. The natural score mark for a folder being cut in half just how it came and then two one on the each side okay so now you want to flip your folder the long way so you can fold you'll be able you'll be able to fold up the bottom so now you want to score that well, let me show you which which side to put it on so you have your tab folder you want to push that straight up against the top put the tab up against the top so that it can fold over. Sorry. And you want to score that at eight and a quarter. So you know that the scoreboard won't go all the way down to your folder. So what I'm going to do is flip it, fold it and flip it to finish up that score mark at eight and a quarter. So we get all the way down to the bottom. There we go. And I believe somebody is at my door. It must be my son telling me to open it. I'll be right back, guys. All right, guys. 
so, yeah, that was my son. So, um, where was I? We scored an eight and a quarter, and now we just want to fold. So that short side that we folded eight and a quarter, we want to fold up. We want to fold up and we want to smooth out our score lines. And the second thing we want to do is this first flap folds forward. And we want to score it, or not score it, but burnish it. Get it nice and flat. The second one goes back. And then the third one goes forward again. So now you should be left with this, which is basically this. So now all you have to do is mat everything, and it should open up just like so. Okay? That's the back. So now if you want for your binding, you want to put your um, ribbon on the back of the flap with the tab. So you want to apply your ribbon or whatever piece you're going to put. You want to glue it right across this way. So I'll just show you what I'm talking about. I have that here. And I'll just grab a piece of ribbon. That's some glue, hot glue. And I'll just grab this piece here. So this folder will be something with red on it. So that way you can have something to tie your yours together so that'll be something like that so these will make good Christmas gifts or um, birthday gifts or just something that you don't want to is homemade something quick and easy so where was I with the other one so now all you want to do is mat your folders mat your pockets I'll give you the measurements for those so the long ones the full panels on the outside you need four each of these and I use four different colors of pattern paper I don't know if I said that already but for the long ones you'd want them cut at eight by three and seven eighths for the long on the back I the front on the inside you'll need four of these and I did have them go all the way down they're just enough to cover right up under this lip and they are cut at five and a half by four one two three four five and a half by four I should write that down so you guys can have that as a reference And then these are cut at four by three. And then what did I say this back was at? Eight by three and seven eighths. That's, uh, they're not cut at four because we needed that extra little, because it's bending a lot, so I didn't want them to cut into the crease. So it's eight by three and seven eighths for these. And then the top is five and a half by four. And the bottoms are four by three. So you just fold that up like so, and you're done. And here is the finished product again. And of course, I have my little bowl. And it's so quick and easy. Okay, guys? Thank you for coming to another episode of Friday Favorites. You guys, have an awesome day. Bye.